So how you doing? Check out that saw back there. She's ready for, I, I guess you could say I, I did the modifications. I'm ready to start the, the, the conversion to methanol. That is the G366 uh, Holtz Pharma chainsaw. We're gonna convert it to methanol. I got the carb swapped out and I got the muffler mod done. So we're gonna see how it runs in this form. And then next time we see this, we'll be converting it to methanol. If everything checks out today. Uh, I followed the instruction that uh, Dino Joe has up about the card swap. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But you have to swap out both the throttle rod and the choke rod on the carburetor for it to work. And in order for to have a fully functioning choke, you have to do a little grinding and such uh, because the little butterfly flap or whatever on the original carb is smaller diameter than the new one, the replacement. And whenever you swap them out, you know, your bigger one won't fit on the rod. So I just put the small one on. I don't know. We're going to see if it's enough choke to, uh, to uh, get her started. But basically the, the little flapper thingy, it's just, it's too small to close it off all the way. You know, so today is going to kind of, we're going to find out if she'll start with this setup because um, she isn't choked all the way off. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see how she runs today. And then as long as everything checks out, we're going to go ahead and the next time around, we're going to get her converted to methanol. I will show you those details. So stick around. I will show you those details and how we, how or how I do the methanol conversion. So I'll show you kind of step by step and kind of instruct you on things to look out for. So what do you say? We see if we can get her fired up and make some cuts and get some tuning done. Alrighty. So there's what she looks like. And here's my, kind of my little signature muffler mod. I completely gutted that sucker and cut those holes out the front. Kind of made my, my what I call the angry man muffler. Um, this one's a little bit different than previous ones. I kind of squared this one off a little bit. So, you know what I mean? But that's the muffler mod we're going with. Uh, and the carburetor works done and everything. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Let's see what she does.
so there we go. She does all right. Um, so there was actually one other cutting session before this. Um, I actually did a little cutting on it whenever I did the initial carb swap to, you know, just to make sure it was going to run. And I ran into an issue. The diaphragm that I was using just didn't work out. So I put a different diaphragm in it and it, you know, it was running fine. But it, the saw ran fine. It ran better than this, I think. So I think the muffler mod, by opening it up so much, uh, it's, it's kind of wreaking havoc with the carburetor. Um, it's increasing, I don't know, it's changing something up because so what you're hearing there is kind of erratic behavior from the carburetor. So I have to run the low side a bit on the rich side and the high side is almost completely shut off uh, to, just to get it to run like this. Uh, she was wanting the four stroke, just opening it up a little bit. So it'll, I'll be curious to see what happens. We're gonna start it up here and again and uh, see how rich I can get the saw to run. Cause that's gonna be one of our tests here. We need to see how rich this carp will run this saw before we start looking at you know, doing modifications to it to, uh, to get it on methanol. So let's go ahead and work at getting it fired up and doing that. But yeah, it's without the muffler mod, the carb ran just fine. With the muffler mod, the carb behaves as though it's too big for the saw. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of funny or kind of weird how that's behaving, but it is. Uh, so I'll be curious to see how this develops. This carburetor actually might be the better choice for switching to methanol. I hope it's not super windy on your end because it is windy as heck out here for me. But, but anyway, let's fire this all up and see how rich we can get her to run. See if it'll go to the point of shutting off. If it will, then we might go for methanol straight away without doing any cup carburetor mods um we'll see let's let's see what happens though we, we want to see if it'll get to the point of shutting the saw off let's see what happens Okay, so that's actually a good sign. Uh, she, she, you know, she reaches up enough to, to shut the saw off. And that's gonna be kind of our starting point for methanol, I think. I think the next video, we're just gonna go ahead, put the methanol in it, and see if we can get it to run rich. Um, we won't put it into wood unless we know we can get the saw to run rich. Okay, that's kind of key. But yeah, I guess that'll be it for today. And next time, we're going to start working on converting it to ethanol. Alrighty, so hey, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.